Greetings, this is the Timeshare Traveler. Today is episode 208, 208. Can't believe I've done that many. Should you buy used or new points? Um, and then I'll look, just go through the overview. Uh, we're going to talk about the differences between new, which they also can call, if you hear the word developer, that's what that is, or used, which is the, the resale market. And I'll tell you why I bought new uh, with developer again. And why about use? Because I've bought both uh, developer and resale. And what resale am I, options am I considering now and why? So that's what I'm going to cover today. But before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about my channel and I'll be back in around 28 seconds. Hi, this is Cliff and I'm the Timeshare Traveler. Welcome to my channel. The purpose of my channel is to educate those who love traveling in timeshares. I've been an owner, owner for 15 plus years. At, uh, timeshare ownership. I have elite ownership with Marriott, Hilton, and Worldmark. I have a, published over 100 timeshare video reviews and I've published over 95 timeshare tips. I can be found on Facebook at Timeshare Trav, at Twitter, Timeshare Trav, and on the web at www.timesharetraveler.com. He's back. Well, I'm going to cover uh, you know, a simplified version of what new versus uh, used resale is. There's lots of articles that you can uh, look on. I recommend you go to Timeshare User Group, or better known as TUG. Um, so anyway, new or developer credits contain all the features like status, less cost for cleaning. So for example, I love my world mark because I have a status that means I can stay two nights and not do a cleaning deposit. This day saves me probably a thousand to two thousand dollars a year because I do a lot of two night here, two night there type of things. So that a, means a lot to me. So having that as a developer makes a lot of difference to me. Okay, free upgrades. With Hilton I get, if I, because of my status, I book something and if, they, if there's an upgrade available I get it for no, at no additional cost. And this just saves me points and again who knows exactly how much it, it saves you, but you know I've done numbers where it's a thousand to two thousand dollars a year as far as save points. Um, I also get seven hundred dollars um, free using sort of last the last thirty days. I can book a room, and I'm going to use that this year. And I last year used all my Lyft, so I had a, I think it's two hundred dollars of Lyft, so I didn't have to worry about a car on Hawaii. I just took the Uber or the Lyft to the place and back and it was all covered as part of my status. So I love the status. I get all the platinum and diamond levels at the Hilton and Marriott because of my timeshares. So I really like that. So that that's what's great about the developer. Um, you know, you get last minute deals, but it's expensive. It's 40K. Now I ended up, I spent less, but I'll, and I'll go into that in a little bit um, for a one week, two bedroom. Um, use, which is better known as resale, um, no status for it, no internal changes, a lot of those perks that I just told you about you don't get. Um, only Typically only good actually for the timeshare, so like I own Worldmark, but I use a lot of Wyndham and I just pay a $49 exchange fee and all of Hawaii mostly is Club Wyndham, so that's a big deal to me. And if you just had the resale, you better have the resale Club Wyndham because you can't really use the Worldmark to, to go to, to Hawaii and that, that would be a big drawback for me um, and they, but they are really low cost and this is actually a higher price they're actually typically lower but 40k versus 7k for the one week in a two bedroom and then these are happen to be Hilton prices that I actually paid so um, I don't know if I've paid the 40k but we'll, we'll, we'll go into that <laughs> why about new developer well I gotta be upfront and they're getting I didn't even know about resale, so hopefully this video, if you are thinking about timeshares, at least you can evaluate it up front as opposed to me discovering it later on down. So, and again, I, I think I went through all the perks before, but I really love the perks, the free upgrades, the free room cleaning that, you know, that you are allowed at a few, but um, rental credits, oh, I love them. The, the lift credits, the hotel status actually means a lot because it comes down to it's free breakfast at the Marriott's. That's a big deal, and they actually have off afternoon hors d'oeuvres, so that's good. You know, those, that's really a big perk for me. It's all about food, you know. Um, I get the other thing when you buy developer, you get bonus weeks, and I actually got to the point where I was you know, getting very sophisticated uh, with that. I figured out how to get extra perks, so I buy a marketing package, and I would go on the marketing package, and I get some Hilton Honors points, and I would buy what they this is the Hilton version, and I buy what they call the VIP, which is a trial package, which gives you eleven thousand points 
then I would buy another marketing package and come back, get another 60,000 Hilton Honors points. Then I would use the thing that I never planned to use as I got twice the money back that I paid for it as a discount off what I purchased. I would buy what they had was inventory specials that they were having specials that month. And I always bought one of those, got the discount from the VIP, um, ended up with, you know, I'd get one to, tw I'd get at least double what bonus points. Plus I ended up with the VIP points. So I'd end up with like, instead of, I'd end up, if I bought 5,000 points, I'd end up with, uh, often 20,000 uh, bonus points, which I calculated was a great savings. It reduced my cost significantly. Again, that's a lot of uh, going around and do it, but if you want to reduce the cost on the developer perks, that's what I would do. Why'd I buy developer used, or sorry, resale used? It was cost me much less. At the time, Hilton had a program where you could convert a used or resale with uh, a purchase of 25 grand. So I would buy the VIP, I would buy the used at 7,000, I would go in and I would spend 25,000, then they would bring that $7,000 purchase in. So my cost actually, instead of being, we'll call it $4, was under $2 a point. So I saved more than half and I got all the bonus perks that I, I enjoy. So that was for me, the best of both worlds. Now they don't, I'll do that anymore. That's something, so I'm sorry for that, but um, because the people like me who did it uh, worked out really well. So it was to me, it was giving me all the perks plus about half the cost. So it's still more expensive than buying resale. And there's a lot of people I, that, uh, that watch my channel that use resale and they use it so well. And it saves them lots of money. The big deal also is if you have resale and you don't want to use the timeshare anymore, you can sell it back to the resale and you haven't really lost that much. You know, you lose a little bit of transaction cost, but fundamentally you'll get about what you paid for it. So it's really, that's a really brilliant uh, move. So it's something you should consider. Um, um, but now I have the status and I want to uh, uh, upgrade me to the next level. And I'm, I'm debating what the, at this point, what the status is worth. Cause you do reach a point when you've got the things that matter to you and the next level doesn't really give you that much more. Um, and I think that's a challenge for the timeshare companies because it, at, at this moment, I'm not seeing it. So, um, across the board, so it's not just any one particular ones, but I'm pretty much happy with having the status I have. So here's the resales options I'm considering right at the moment. Um, I've gotten really good at stretching points uh, and Marriott really the, the I'm not looking to do anything there just because their maintenance fees are so high. I've kind of, I'm kind of on a pause till I figure out what I want to do there. With Hilton, I'd like to buy a used uh, resale blue green. So they have an integrated blue green and I'm kind of assuming it's going to go like the diamond integration. And if it does, it'd be great to have one week uh, of priority in the blue green network and just to get it by resale and only use it in the blue green because I can use then the, the larger number of Hilton program points to, for the last six months, that kind of stuff. So I'd have one sort of uh, week of, of, of priority and then there's some really nice locations in the blue green and I'm re really liking what Hilton is doing as far as the upgrades that I'm seeing so far. Um, and I can see if I can leverage it. Maybe someday they'll create a program where they'll let me bring it in as developer, but I won't hold my breath on that. Um, World Mark, the next tier points um, aren't that exciting. I get a little bit better conversion. Not, not actually it's better, double the conversion. That's that's worth something. I mean, there, there's not nothing, but it's just, would have you had it better off just with more points um, and being able to do more and use my money just uh, on the maintenance fees and not so much on the purchase? Because you can get world market points are re much less expensive and uh, compared to the cost buying new. So as Hilton is a little better resale value of what I would say. So that's those are the kind of two areas that I'm looking at. Um, so when you do have the status point already, then it's a question of what's the best move at that point. And I, and again, I'm I'm looking at the timeshare companies to give me more perks uh, and maybe I'll do it, but um, the cost savings is fantastic. Anyway, I hope you like this sort of, I'll call it the introduction to uh, resale versus new developer. Um, hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.